Welcome to this video. Um, really quickly going to show you something that I recently learned. Um, this is, say you went to the setup process on your Sibelius score, and then you decided afterwards, after setting everything up, that you wanted a pickup measure for the first sort of beat or two. Um, and here's how I figured out how to do it um, with uh, Sibelius after the fact. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the second measure of the piece. Okay. I'm going to go to Notations. I'm going to go to Time Signature. And I'm going to put another 4-4 four, four there. Now, you may be thinking this is weird, but this is why I do it, so that things past the first measure don't get rebarred. So <clears throat> let's just, you know, say that you have stuff in your piece, you know, except the pickup note, and then you need to go back and add that in. Well, um... You need to be able to go back, and you need to be able to go to time signature, and you can you can put a custom time signature in here. I'm going to put one four one quarter note, and I'm going to say okay. This needs to be switched. So if there, sometimes this thing will have a mistake where it'll put it on the wrong measure. So in that case, I go to home and I delete that measure. And so we have one four. This is what we want. Now we're going to put our go into note input and put some notes. So, so we have C, bomb, bomb. And then before you put any more notes in, turn off the input notes function. And then select the next measure. Then go to notation and click time signature again. And you're going to go down to 4-4 four, four or whatever time signature you want this to be in right now. And then, boom. You should be ready to go. Okay, so that's how you do this. Is you can actually do it as 1-4, then put the note, then change it to 4-4, four, four, and then... You're good. Although there's one final step. There needs to be an element where it is disappeared on the 1-4. It needs to be uh, so that it has disappeared and it's not on there. We're going to want inspector and show hide score parts. We're going to click on 1-4. We're going to click hide. This will not print or should not print the 1 4. And so that's how this is done. Any questions or comments, you can QA in the QA section or comment section. Uh, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to CJW Music Tutorials. I'll see you in the next one.